Hey, beautiful souls. I am going to also try to get up uh, on Instagram right now. Welcome to my living room. This is our weekly live chat. I don't, I don't, can't figure out how to go live on Instagram right now. Okay, give me a second. And if it doesn't work, I will uh, just not do it this time. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Here we go. So we'll be in both locations. And this little thing you're seeing here is my phone. Okay. So welcome to our weekly live chat. We are now live on uh, Instagram. Hello on my Facebook page at Joyful Medium, uh, on my Facebook group, which is Joy Soul Spa. Hi loves. And also my YouTube, which is Joy Giovanni Psychic Medium. It's so good to see you guys. I have a few things I want to chat about today. So my uh, guides have been giving me some messages this week about change. I don't know how the weather is where you are, but if you are on the West Coast or in Nevada, hey bestie, um, the wind is insane. I mean, my neighbor's screen door blew off. I'm praying my screen door doesn't blow off. Uh, you can see this is my this is my living room, like I said. And it's light right now. I had this open so you could see how crazy the wind was, but then it started getting all dark and moody and I just looked at the weather and it's uh, it's gonna rain these next few days. So that has been also inspiring me um, as far as like what I'm sitting with, with my guides and all of that. So we're gonna chat about that today and hang out till the end because I'm gonna be announcing the next free live workshop. You guys have been asking, hey, when are we doing another free live workshop? That's gonna be coming up. I'm gonna announce it at the end and a public group demonstration of mediumship. So those of you that have been asking about when are you doing another mediumship demonstration, we have one coming up uh, on Zoom that I'm also gonna tell you about at the end. Hey Kyle, good to see you. Say hi if you're popping on. Um, those of you on IG, I see you guys. I just uh, don't wanna call you out by name. Your comments roll really fast. Okay, so I've written this quote because I'm using my phone to do IG and my laptop to, to say hello to the rest of you. So this is the quote that is inspiring me or that I was led to to talk to you guys about this topic. It's about the wind because like I said, the wind has been just bananas. Uh, last night I was up all night with this wind. Today it's crazy. You might even hear some things out there. Um, but here's this quote. The pessimist complains about the wind. The optimist expects it to change. The realist adjusts the sails. And that quote is by Arthur William Ward. And then as I was reading that quote, what I heard inside my mind, which is usually the way my guides communicate, is the intuitive or sensitive finds the stillness to hear its message, which I was like, whoa, okay. So sometimes for me, I'm a person that I don't love when it's windy. Some people feel the energy of the wind and it really invigorates them or excites them or gets them stirred up. For me, the wind makes me want to go inside a big hoodie or an electric blanket and just, I can't handle it. You can see my eyes are super sensitive to the wind. It's dry. I don't love it. So let me know in the comments, do you love the wind? Or are you not a fan? Um, I know we need it and it does beautiful things, but you know, just personally, not a huge fan. So how can we, you know, even through discomfort, even through change, because you know, we're coming up through a lot of change. You might already be feeling the quickening of the energy. Things feel like they're moving very fast right now. We're coming up on a lot of change. Uh, energetically, as far as like the astrology of it, we're gonna be coming up on the age of Aquarius, which is time for new ways of communicating, new ways of, of uh, being in collaboration and community. It's less about the individual, how can I succeed, and more about the community, the collective, how can we succeed, how can we uplift each other, right? This reminds me of another post I saw by Uplift Connect, I think is who has it. Um, and the image was this hallway full of all these multicolored balloons. And the story was talking about, this was a high school and the high school teacher gave a balloon to each student. They blew up their balloon, they wrote their own name on it, and then they threw them into the hallway. And there were like thousands of balloons, probably, I'm kind of a, <laughs> kind of a shorty, but probably like above waist high for me of balloons in this hallway. 
And the teacher said, okay, I'm gonna give you five minutes as fast as you can try to find your balloon. So they did, uh, and lo and behold, not one student was able to find the balloon with their own name on it. And now the next assignment was, okay, so the balloon that you do have with someone else's name on it, you have five minutes to find that person and give them their balloon with their name on it. So they did, and then the lesson at the end was, when we seek our own happiness, it's impossible to find. But when we seek helping others with their happiness, everyone ends up happy. Now, uh, everything is saying I have poor connection, so I'm sorry. It is definitely the wind. I woke up a lot of times in the middle of the night because uh, my heater wasn't kicking on, and I was like, oh my gosh, is the power out? This is crazy. Thank God it wasn't. Um, so I just want to invite you to think about changes that are upcoming, whether you know what they are or not. You might be feeling this sensation, this feeling of like, oh, things feel like they're shifting. Things feel like they're changing. Things feel like they're moving much faster now. Or it seems like my to-do list is like so much longer than it's been before. And really what spirit wants you to know is, are you looking at it like a pessimist, right? Complaining about it and saying like, oh my God, these changes are too much. I don't, I don't want to change. I'm going to be the same. Um, you know, we all evolve, just saying, uh, hashtag personal growth. Um, or are you going to be an optimist who expects change? Who's like, yeah, change is a natural part of our, of our life. Change is going to happen. I expect this change. I'm going to roll with it. Or are you a realist who is like, okay, I'm going to adjust to this change. I'm going to use all my strength. Or can you take on board the message Spirit's giving me about all this, which is, remember, the intuitive or the sensitive, however you like to identify, um, finds the stillness in the wind to hear its message. So even when there's lots of chaos and change and things are getting thrown at you from every direction, are you prioritizing either your own spiritual practice or your own finding that stillness within? You know, like I talk about it a lot. Sometimes mine is through going for long walks. Sometimes it's through meditation. Um, I do a little bit of that. Maybe yours is through journaling. Maybe yours is through um, getting out in nature. There's lots of ways to find that stillness, but a lot of it involves unplugging from all these lovely distractions that we have and just getting quiet within so that you can really find that stillness to hear the message about the changes in your life. And what's so interesting to me, back to that about helping each other find happiness, find healing, find peace, find love, in those other three options, the pessimist, the optimist, and the realist, they're all about themselves, doing it for themselves, hiking those, I don't, I'm not a sailor, hiking those sails or changing those sails for themselves, rather than where's this community, right? Where is this getting still to share the message? Where is this, you help me adjust my sail and I'll help you adjust yours, or can we all get on the same boat, on the same team, right? So I just want to offer this to you today as food for thought. You know, these Wednesday live chats are often just food for thought chats between me and you that I can pop on live and do. I do have so many things coming up that I'm excited to share with you. Actually, I do have a free live mini reading session coming up with the wonderful and amazing Carolyn Wilkins, which is on, um, I'm looking for the date. It's in March. Is it the is it the fifth? Is it the it's the fifth? Okay. So a few things to announce: free live mini readings, which are gonna go to. I'll try to do it to you too, IG. But definitely get on my public Facebook page at Joyful Medium. Get in my community, Joy's Soul Spa. It's a Facebook group. It's private. It's free to join. It's just me letting you in. Answer a couple questions and promise to play nice. Um, as you guys know, love you guys. It's an amazing group. So Carolyn Wilkins, who's a friend of the Spirit Speakeasy podcast, if you haven't checked out the podcast yet, uh, shameless plug, Spirit Speakeasy, wherever you find podcasts. Uh, we are going to be doing a 30-minute session of free mini reading. So you pop on live with us. It's going to be Sunday, March 5th at 11 a.m. Pacific, which is 2 p.m. Eastern, which is 7 p.m. UK, I think. Um, figure out your time zones. Love you guys. <laughs> I'm so bad at knowing everyone's time zones, but I'm always working on it. So that's going to be Sunday, March 5th. Fifth, and we're going to be doing that to just give you a little bit of flavor of how both of us read 
because we have a big live public event coming up. It is called Spring Forward with Spirit. I'm gonna start making some posts about it. If you're on my Instagram, I just put it in my store yesterday for Facebook as well. And I believe on Facebook, the posts are up already on the at Joyful Medium uh, page and in the Joy Souls blog group. So that's March 19th, also a Sunday, similar time, 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. UK. Um, and we've kept the cost really low. There will be both of us giving messages and details from loved ones in the spirit world. So get excited. A lot of you have been asking about that. And I've got another big announcement. Several of you have messaged me about when are we doing the next free live workshop. I usually do these free live five day workshops where every day you're with me and we're learning. Um, I'm still working on tightening up the, um, the, uh, the lessons of this workshop. I'm gonna do a little bit of a different one. Um, usually they're based around using your intuition, feeling into your intuition. And remember, psychic or intuitive, it's not about predicting the future. It's about understanding ourselves, understanding the energy so that we can make the best choices to live our life right now. Because the future's not decided yet. So um, predictions are tough. We can see potentials, but hard and fast predictions, um, free will. <laughs> so that's that's an element in there. But I can teach you how to tune in more to your intuition. So be on my uh, VIP insiders list to get all the details about that free live workshop. I'm going to announce the date right now. This is the first time anyone's hearing this. So it's going to be April 10th, which is Monday. Um, I'm setting the times. I'm going to try to set it at a time where everyone can watch, but the replays will be in the Joy Soul Spa Facebook group. That's where I do these live workshops. Um, I'm on there live every day for five days usually. Sometimes I even extend them if there are a lot of people and you guys are loving them. So that is going to be starting April 10th. All you need to do to be on my VIP insiders list is to be, um, it's on my email list really is what it is. So you guys can get the inside scoop. Make sure you're not missing all of these free live opportunities. So get on that list. You can go to my website, joyfulmedium.com if you are not already on there. There's a free uh, signs mini course that you can have if you would like. And then by putting your email in, you will be on my list. Um, and being in the Joy Soul Spa Facebook group, that is also, since it's where I do the workshops, the posts go there. Um, and, you know, uh, that's what happens. So lots of love. Let me know. Kyle says um, he likes the wind because if it's blowing hard enough, he can visualize himself flying. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. Let me know how you feel about uh, the wind. Let me know how it makes you feel about change. Are you someone that is, do not like change? Are you expecting, yes, of course change is going to happen. Are you trying to adjust with change or are you finding stillness, which is our guidance for today, to understand the message of the changes and of the things that are coming up. So let me know how this resonates with you today. Um, again, the Spirit Speakeasy podcast, a new episode drops every Monday at 3 a.m. Eastern, um, or it's 3 a.m. Pacific, which is 6 a.m. Eastern and uh, 11 a.m. UK. And you can find that wherever you get your podcasts across all the platforms, iTunes, or it's I think it's Apple Podcasts now, Google Podcasts, um, Amazon uh, Podcasts, uh, all of them. So uh, Gianluca says um, they expect positive changes in their life. I love that. That's wonderful. I think that's great. Um, and we can obviously have even more information by getting still and, and finding that guidance, right? That inner compass, that intuition. So I love that. Thanks for sharing that. Um, so yes, a new episode is going to come out. Um, if this Monday's episode, that the week that we're in, if you're watching this live, which I think today is the 22nd, uh, is self-hypnosis hacks from celebrity hypnotherapist, uh, Kim Friedmutter, Kimberly Friedmutter. Don't miss that. If you are a fan of The Real Housewives show, she appeared on one of those and did tools with um, the members of that cast. So you're not gonna wanna miss that episode. She gives amazing information. She talks about getting uh, information in your dreams, getting uh, like how to actually ask for it and receive it. So she gives us lots of real world applications. And you guys, if you're with me at all on any of my pages, you know I am about asking the questions. Like I, your girl got questions, okay? 
So that's the one that's out this week. Next week, I am dropping an episode. It's a solo episode, just you and me. And we're going to be talking about how to get the most from your psychic or mediumship readings. Um, And I also go into, you know, questions like what happens if my loved one passed away in a difficult way, perhaps from overdose or completion of suicide? Can they still communicate? What types of information come forward? What happens if um, I'm a skeptic? What happens if I'm nervous? How do I prepare for the reading? What if I had a difficult relationship with someone in the spirit world? How how does that work? Uh, Some people are nervous about that. So I really, I explain the difference between psychic and mediumship and what that even means and how that works and how I work. So you won't want to miss that one. That comes out next Monday, which I think is the 27th ish (laughs) so thanks for being with me kyle says can change uh, change can be difficult um but he works on embracing the change and welcoming the new challenges i love that i think we're all working on that it's a work in progress for me but i i i love that perspective and that viewpoint that's something great to hold on to right just welcoming new new change and new challenges because you know it's going to be getting you the growth and expansion you need for where you're trying to go So I uh, have been a little quiet in the comments lately just because I've been recording and doing so much, but I am seeing the comments um, that you leave on my regular posts and my thread and all of that. I'll be going in sometime this week and answering them all. So just know I do see you guys. Um, I am the one doing the posts. So big hugs, lots of love. If you have liked this chat, I'm going to be live at noon um, with friend of the podcast, uh, Mark Lanehart on uh, Uh, Inspired Living Radio, which is, um, you know, part of the Ohm family. So just look for Inspired Living Radio. And I'm going to be live on his show, The Intuitive Prospector, at noon, where I'm sure going to be talking about all things uh, psychic and mediumship and so many more things. He he has a, a, a quite a big show, so I'm pretty excited about it. So if you guys want, join me live there. Uh, Inspired Living Radio is where it is. I sent out an email last night about it, and there's some posts. Um, there's definitely a post on my story, Hello IG, and there's definitely um, a post in my on my page uh, on Facebook, on all the places. So if you want, join me there because I don't know anyone there. So uh, it'd be nice to have some friendly love and energy coming at me. So that's noon Pacific today, 3 Eastern and whatever time it is everywhere else. Um, lots of love. Uh, Arturo is sending me lots of flowers and hearts. Same to you all. Please know that I'm always keeping you in my thoughts and well wishes um, in my loving energy bubble. Lots of love. Big hugs. Um, bye for now. How do I get out of all these lives? I don't know. Bye, guys. I got to look around my phone. <laughs> I'm working this out, y'all.